Hey guys, welcome back to another video on Forza Horizon 5. I know three videos in a row on Forza Horizon 5. Well, straight after each other for me recording these, but you guys will see these a few days after each other or whatever. But, of course, maybe in the next video I'll do something different, don't know what game. But, keep it on the focus of Toyota and like TRD cars. We got the, uh, TRD, like, Drift Tundra. This thing, insane. Haven't used it yet until now with the new Tundra. This came out, the actual proper Tundra. But this one's a fully built drift car. Like, look at that. Fully built tube front end. Crazy. Tube front end completely from, like, the cabin. Completely tube rear end. Inside the car is probably the only real normal stock bit. Big, big plate to lift up the pedals and everything. And being on the floor down there. This thing is crazy. That thing I think is a sequential lever. And then of course we got the hydro. A fancy R screen. But damn, this thing. Let's click drive so we can drive this right out. This thing's insane and top level pro drift car. Oh, that sound. Mint. <laughs> Sound of mint already. Yeah, it's already got the lights in the grill there. That's kind of cool. But they're idle. This thing looks absolutely sick. Let's see how it drifts straight away. I'm on control, of course. Let's see how it is. I can really tell. Quite good. I'm a bit faster than Conan, but I made it work. Ah, didn't work. But this thing drifts quite well with stock. That might as well use the classic drift road. <laughs> Just trying, actually, instead of worrying about trying to run it up the um, instead of trying to run it up the um volcano like everybody does, the drift road probably getting overused a bit too much. I'll go to my little. All right, that's in the wrong way, isn't it? This thing looks like an epic drift road. It shows it as a normal road. But you see it. There's some type of dirt thing. Here comes the train. In like 10 frames per second. Yeah, it doesn't even grab the handbrake when you. Really? Barely see your hands just You see the character try and change. Yeah. The sound of that that's a sequential. Yeah, this looks like an epic road, but then it's really just a dirt road. Real road. I don't know what road I went on last time it went. Alright, is a drift road? I think it was this one down down here at the other end of the actual Should be dirt road, should be brown, not normal road. I understand. See? Once again. 
It's a dead bird, but it shows us in the middle. That's because I went the wrong way. And that is also... What's going on here? I think this is the one I just done. If not, I just found a nice... Black hole drifter. I don't know if actually this is actually the word I was looking for. Damn, this thing handles. Dude. Okay. Oh, that's such a crowd. It's too many down the road. And right on the edge. Oh. Yes. Many handbrakes doing it. Well, if you're drifting from stock, it's got like manual wheel spin, so. Plenty of wheel spin in the first, definitely don't need it. Upgrade it, but then I so that's the whole fun and part of it. Then we'll go for one more round and then upgrade this thing. I kind of like it stuck there. This thing handles is going to be really very really stuck. So we go with trying to keep it drifting the whole way. Right there. This is where a drift zone should be. This would be perfect for a drift zone. There's nothing here. There's only just a little trail blazer. Okay, he's half off the track off the road, and then we're still making them tire smack. Sorry. I think we should. Thanks. I think we should um go and fully yeah we'll fully upgrade this thing see how it goes completely fully upgraded maybe even a different engine depends if it's some type of v12 nah gonna keep the v8 but yeah we'll try and fully upgrade this and see where it gets us i'll probably put it back to oh sorry brother i'll probably put it back to um stock again because that's just an amazing stock the 8.9 litre V8 Racing 2 jet has less power This thing has 600 Holy moly I didn't really have that much power 1500 horsepower, almost 1500 meters of torque 8.8 Oh, we're drunk, Jackson? No. <laughs> this is real drive, real stuff. So that's as powerful as it can go. Um, oh yeah, it already has drift tires on it, so... Can't really put drift tires on it. We need that thickness right now, because... Two knife eyes in front. Because this thing's going to be absolutely crazy. Jeez, what's with the fitman? That fitman there. He's so far in. Better put that out. Those guys are so far in. On this thing. Rims are amazing. Not changing those.
So I'll unlock tuning, but I wonder if I can do tuning with the normal. Okay, well, unlock tuning there, but we already have a drift diff. So, unless, I don't know, diffs don't make a difference, only so different presets. Oh. Oh, it's already S1. Okay. We're in a clear. Race springs. And Bradley. We want to keep that drift suspension in it. Yeah, I thought we are going to take out too much more weight. Yeah, that's, that's, that's this thing fully upgraded. So. Let's see how it goes. Fully upgraded rear wheel drive. 1500 horsepower. But. I need to do some tuning a bit. Rear tire presses are down. Cool. So we got 411 for the final drive, which is just three gears. This thing went alright. Don't really have to change much on the um, gearing side of things. Put about a bit more in there. And rear tire will put out a bit. This thing's quite soft. Definitely quite soft. So you want it to be soft, soft sometimes. Okay, that's as soft as that can go. Can't change those. Alright, so speed and cornering. We sort of want it in the middle like it is. Because we don't want too much cornering, we don't want too much speed either. But we'll just spin out. So I guess I'll just leave it how it is. And... 100% the diff, the 100% lock it. We want that lock diff. I don't know why it's not locked from the beginning. Of course, drift cars always have lock diffs. And this engine does have a good diff. Alright. Oh, that sounds good. Now let's see how we go. Feels spinning for days. Too much spin. Yeah. And that six gear already. it down the same drift road we just went down so we found a very good drift road it's just like a little little thing that you can just keep going around and around and around turns out to be quite good all right let's see how uh, fully upgraded hundred of kind of Because I already had the Tundra in it, you could already tell that they were going to bring just the normal Tundra to the game, but it didn't do it quick enough. That's because um, Grand Turismo 7 came out, and that has a Tundra and everything. The car sound is amazing, but yeah, it's that game. It's quite amazing. Oh, perfectly. Was that a PS5? It sort of makes me desperately want a PS5 to play that game, but since I don't. I have a PS5, I can't play Grand Turismo 7. I say I've not played any Grand Turismo 7. Because I've always had Xboxes, not really Playstations. So. And the Grand Turismo looks cool, and I still want to play it. And whatever they've been saying, I think they're worth just to miss these guys. 
But everybody else has been saying this, but it's actually pretty good. But this one, this is a really good cow. This just just as good. We've definitely not going to know. Alright, I started coming again. I know I said I wasn't going to do it because everybody else does it. But I just, I'm just curious. I'm curious just to see what score we do. Actually, let's not go uphill this time. I always go uphill in YouTube videos. I have done a few downhill runs recently. So let's do... A downhill run. Might get a higher score going downhill. We go faster. Sometimes the speed doesn't mean everything sometimes. More about the style. And how many points you can get. Of course I think in this game it's just like the 2004 I think. To get a higher score you need all your drive. This kind of sucks. Because it should be all the same. This one really driver has fun bites so easier to hold big angle. Actually, this makes it way easier than this one. Oh, following it everywhere. That's what I do when I'm trying. It's just... It's just like the older thing here, completely forward or nothing. It's another guy. Ready to get drifting. I might get a drifting bug, that's kind of cool. Everybody's still drifting on this. If so, it's good to see. <laughs> I drift at 86. Too fast and messed up that corner, but I don't know. The problem is, I want to get good score here, you need to keep drifting non stop on the straights and the corners. You're going to have to throw a bit now. Keep it so we're not going 100% flat out all the time. But, well, just because of the season thing that they have going on, I changed the look of a few things. So it's kind of cool that they do this. And of course, um, I don't think I should say yes because I've not included in the YouTube video yet. And by the time I do, I might be going. So I'll pull out. I feel it might be a bit longer because. We'll do something good, because we're doing the right drift points for this one. And we'll move, or we'll change cars from the drift handle to... Let's go with 4 one. The 4 one is kind of cool. Could have gone to the end of the tunnel, but I think the 4 one will be a bit better for what we're going to do, so... I'll be at the end of the video. If you guys want to watch me drift this, let's get... To the end of the video. Yeah. 
not bad at all, this thing's fine with those tires. Mm -hmm. And about frying Driscoll. Because with that FD Beamer, I've got a million on million drift points on this. Yep, stop trying, but I don't know how close he is. I think I'm going to do it, I will be better me again. I think one of my friends was pretty close to beating me up. I think he was pretty close actually. And the non FD car, he's actually quite good at this game, so. Off to him. Yeah, I was so happy to beat it's like that score, but then you think about it. He's done the million this points once to him and I kind of barely get probably like 600 just points on his journey. Nine hundred and forty-nine thousand drift points. Yep, he has been. He did beat me. Yeah, I bet it's not true. In the FD Supra. That's what he bet me in. Alright, well. I can drive the FD Supra and beat him again. <laughs> I don't know. But we'll change car now. Because I want to show you guys a cool thing they added anything. Of course if you guys have been playing playing Forza Horizon you will know what they added but if you haven't played it and you're watching this video because it's all right, I'll show you guys the day off. But yeah, this was in one of my other videos so you guys haven't seen it. Nexus LFA V10 Forerunner. This thing is absolutely crazy. But we're going to go to the arena where we will find if we're facing the right way but they changed it and it's quite cool. Look at this. This area, uh, yeah, I have a bloody stunt on the this. We jump. Oh no, we're gonna get the. Oh, we just got some. Yeah, I came here in my mom's cars, but yeah, this is kind of sick. Oh. Yo! Yeah. <laughs> anyway, that guy's jumping the track on his cars. I'm trying to do like a skate park. Okay. Up. And I'm going up. Getting a bit of speed. Alright, let's try it down again. Just like you do at the skate park. There we go. Whoa! <laughs> there is also a, um, a thing where you have to destroy like 50 um, pins. Two left out. Alright, right, well now we're gonna. <laughs> okay, we'll hit the loop to loop, and I think that'll be the end. So if you hit it from this way. Oh, this goes still. I think the other car is a bit more of a super car than I hit this one. Okay. I don't actually get a play in, but we can get it. Alright, so we can beep in nice, you know? Well, I was hoping we could go over and over and over again. It's just three areas. They added more areas on this one. Yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and a bit of a different thing I thought I'd do stuff with. Of course, pretty crazy, but yeah, look at that turning set. That turning angle. It's not a lot. 
No. So, I hope you guys enjoy this video, because I drift tundered really, really well. <coughs> Sorry about it. Um, and this drift park. Oh, that would be cool if they made a drift park in this area, that would be kind of cool. Holy crap, he's flying in here. <laughs> but yeah, this like, stunt park is really, really cool. And for a runner, it makes easy work. That guy out there is just hanging, you know, it's hanging up in the sky. But I hope you guys enjoy, and I'll see you guys in the next one, where it'll probably be a different game, but we're going to do 4 Heroes and 5 over and over again. Don't know what game, but you guys can leave in the comments below what game I've done that you guys want to do, and we've got another Fort Runner joining us just before I end the video. So, I hope you guys enjoy, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.